honestly imagine if Abigail and Rael got together. <sighs> Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 1, Episode 6 of Motherland for Salem. This time the title of the episode is Up is Down. And yeah, we are ready. Episode 5, I think, has been one of my favorite episodes. Um, I, I loved it. I loved it. I mean, I like Abigail... I, I didn't need any reason, more reasons to love Abigail, but after that episode, like, my love has gone through the roof. Uh, I love her so, so, so much. She was so badass in the previous episode, and I cannot wait to watch this one as well and to see what it has in store for us. I am very excited. After this, we only have four more episodes to go for season one. We'll... Are, are we going to be able to, like, get caught up to when the show actually starts airing weekly? I don't know, but uh, let me know if that is something that you guys would like to watch. Or maybe I should just um, wait uh, for the show to be released on, on, uh, on Netflix or someplace else. I don't know. Um, let me know that in the comment section down below. But I will totally do... a weekly thing with motherland for salem uh because this show is this show is really good uh anyways we're here we're ready to watch episode six i hope you guys enjoy please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe comment hit the notification bell and you can go to patreon right now and watch the full uncut extended version of this reaction and so much more so in case you guys want to do that link as always will be in the description down below and for now that's about it without further ado let's just begin with season one episode six of motherland for salem here we go <laughs> but it's 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 Tally, Talia, what is her name? Tally, right? Is she going to tell Ray that Scylla is a spree? Who are they? Oh my god. Mm, you're a warrior, Abigail. A badass warrior. Warrior. Abigail? They had Charvel in her dress. Oh, sweetie, don't blame yourself for this. That's why I was there. Oh my god, sweetie. She was so excited. She was. My mother came in. They pinned me down to the floor. They had their arms around my neck. They had a knife. Oh my god, Abigail, Are you sure you so want to do this right now? Perhaps after you... Let's begin. She's a bellwether. Scylla oh was standing imagine. right beside us. And oh my god, imagine that, you know, that she's trying to figure out which specific one it was, and like, she can't tell. I listen to music, and sometimes everything sounds the same for me. For instance, you tell me, do you hear the bass on any particular song? And I will be like, yes. In reality, I haven't heard shit. Because I just hear the, you know, I have, I, I don't have a good ear. My son, however, he can like close his eyes. You will play some music. He will copy it in the piano like this. We turned around. She was gone. I just, I can't. We have to calm down. Well, she is trying. And why she, Anacostia's she told always her? for Scylla and me. I bet that Anacostia told her. Not to tell shit to anyone, especially not to her. Stop focusing on it. Jesus. Just let's, let's give her her space, though. Who is she? That's supposed to be Scylla. No, it can't be Scylla. What am, what am I talking about? 
I thought this was happening in the past. That's why I, th I thought it was Scylla. But maybe it's not happening in the past. Had their vocal cords cut out. Oh my god. In other words, not civilians. I can't say anything definitive yet. But it is odd. The spree doesn't odd? kill other witches. Vocal apparatus. Yeah, 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 you do that. Hold this open for me, please. No, don't show it to me. Oh my god, they're gonna show See? it to me. This is where they cut out the voice. Isadora? Ugh. This is not a typical vocal cord. Ugh. What is it? Is it a bomb? I don't know. Just like that? Like, is it like it's cake? The rest of you start with the ears, then look for mar a mark. This one has what a mark, he, too. What does he mean? Pretty clear. I didn't want to believe oh, it. Oh, they're witches? But they're witches. Okay, but they have killed witches before. Didn't they kill the daughter of the, the other one? In an explosion or something? And then they kill each other? This is not the first time. More than that. What? They are... They're bellwethers. <gasps> They're bellwethers? All of them? That's why they were coming after them. The world's them. falling apart, women. No one needs to kiss any ass to fly anymore. Good. First thing you got to do. It's going to be excellent. Like, catch her f playing Quidditch in a minute. <laughs> Did you put the shit there? Oh, okay. I was like, she's about to jump and she forgot. That will be me. I'll be like, ah! I forgot! I forgot to put the star on! <laughs> I'm just saying. Abigail losing love. I, I'm sorry. Hello? And can you fly up? That's a pretty looking shot. You can't even see the wires. You're in training right now. Maybe you don't wanna oh. <coughs> What the fuck? <clears throat> I have something I throw away. How did we <laughs> I'm so stupid? Ah We don't know about them. You're acting like I'm crazy! No I'm not crazy! Why will she we were all her? standing there together. You saw her. You saw her and that she was gone. What kind of weepy peepy NorCal nonsense is that? Excuse Don't me? Say that. You want to make flower rings and sing to the goddess too? Don't. Don't. It's okay. This is what Abigail does. She pushes people away and she lashes out. She's going through a very traumatic thing. You know. But she's just trying to help you. Tal is just trying to help you. Don't talk to me like that. I've mastered every training exercise we've been taught. Yeah, but she's already a soldier, right? Stop! Don't look at her like that. Hey, though. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, hello. I've been known to say a thing or two. Okay, hello. Okay. She can appreciate that. Oh, there's an actual door? I thought they just went into a different... A parallel reality or something. I really thought that. Because they go around and then you don't see them. I thought, oh, they step into a parallel reality. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't! It looks like it's gonna suck. Stop. Did you touch that? No, 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 no. She why? About... Is it dangerous? You ask why is it dangerous after you touch a real? Oh my god, this child. No, no. Say it's part of a mushroom. A psychedelic mushroom? Um. um... Oh, look at her. She's so sure. I love this. 
I already know how to do this. Who Great. was that? So consider this extra practice. Not. <laughs> Constant. Yeah, you have someone <laughs> badass to string with. Didn't I? No, sweetie. I let my guard down. <laughs> Abigail! Oh my god! I wanna... Oh my god, I wanna hug her so bad right now. Our nation craving, that's all you need to know for right now. You know what, I will trust Anacostia. I'll trust her with my life. So, she says that I need to be quiet. I need to be quiet. Do you mind? What? Make out? No. Oh! Thank you. Beautiful. You gonna fall in love? Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. Are you into me? Why isn't your eye fixed? We were in the Cordillera Blanca range in the Andes. My unit and two others coming down through a... La Cordillera Blanca de los Andes? That actually goes through my my country as well. Pass that looked wide open. Scylla was killed in the storm. I'm so sorry, Rhea. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. Why do you want to make me believe that she she's dead? She's not dead. We've been knew this. She's not dead. She's not dead. Nah, nah, nah. I refuse to believe that. I'm glad you and your sister are safe. So, it, if, are they from her sa same... No, I don't think they're from... They're from way back. His family, I'm gonna guess. Go to see this place. Doesn't that make sense? Yes, it does. <laughs> oh my god. Tally, tell her! Tally! Abigail. Hey. Abigail, wake up. Ah! Oh my god. I'm, I'm so glad that she was like, Who is here? What happened? We were having a nightmare. And I thought for Why me are you we in here? Get out! Masturbating, but it's okay. Abigail, you had a nightmare. Doesn't she sleep? I love that she was like, not a second pass, and she was like, there, like a ninja. Yaku, yapu. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Abigail. Oh, she's writing to you? What? I thought it was a walkie talkie. What is it? Is it a. Is it. Is it Ray? What the hell? Where's Rayel? What are you going to do? Are you gonna fly to the beach? You probably can take a bus. I know, I understand what she's trying to do. Okay. This is, I don't, I, stop with this, please. She's gonna tell her that she's not dead. It's gonna get high on Salva. Ah. No! Let me save my girl and bring her home. She saved my girl. I know she means her sister, but still, like, you know what? I'm all for Scylla, and I think it's a beautiful story with Ray and her, and they are just, like, the chemistry stops. But I always go for the impossible ships. And, like, just imagine Abigail and Ray. She just call her her girl. I just, I always like to do this. You have a cannon ship who's right there, main part of the story, but I want to suffer. So I go for the one that will never be cannon, because that's me. See, she could have taken a car or something, but no. Too much. <sighs> she might possibly oh, have turned the blue or something. It's okay. Come, come here. Where's Scylla? Stop! Stop! She's alive! She's not dead! No, she's not dead. Oh my god! I'm so happy 
there, there to help her. Oh! I love this so much. Did they capture her? <gasps> Holy fucking shit! How did you plan the wedding attack? Oh my god, I think she's fucked. <sighs> okay guys, so that was the end of season 1 episode 6 of Motherland for Salem. That was a badass episode. It was a really good episode. I love the fact that on this episode we kind of like focus. Uh, it was very character driven. Hey, it still had a lot of action. Um, uh, but it was more character driven and I love that because, you know, you don't only build your, um, your show on the, you know, the basic plot line what drives each season, but with such a complicated show, you know, because you're building an entire world where they exist with their particular rules and the very way, like, weird way of clapping. They don't do that. They do this stomping thing. I don't know why. I know that it gives them power and, like, but I still think it's silly. But anyways, one thing is that even though you're building this entire world, you're still telling a story. And you have your three leading characters. All powerful women. And you need to tell... A story you need to build your characters and I think they're doing it in such a fantastic way you have Abigail who on the previous episode went through a very traumatic thing not only she witnessed her cousin on her wedding day getting killed in such an awful way but she also had to go through the fact that she had to fight those people she was about to die and um, now she knows there's a target in her back I don't know if, like before of course knowing that she's a soldier she will always have a, a, a target in her back but now it feels more personal you know now it feels like specifically targeting you you know they're targeting bellwethers you know whether if they are you know uh, uh, direct from the uh, from the um, line from the tree thing. I don't know how do you say it. From the same bloodline, you know, very direct. Even if they know or not that they are witches, they are targeting them. They want to wipe them out. You know, they have killed seventeen of them, plus Charvel. So this is just. It's, they, it's, it's, it's scary, you know? And Abigail is always still, you know, told by her mom to continue doing, going through things, to just push from her feelings and just move, move on, move forward. Even her mom did that on this episode. She was like, I want to recognize the sound. And even though it probably... You know, it's also a traumatizing thing for her. She was like, I have to find the sound. So they start playing the, the, the seats and things like that. And she continued. You know, that is very much in her. And she asks for the same thing to happen. And for the same thing, for her daughter to do the same thing. So she keeps pushing her. You know, and Abigail... It's supposed to have it all together. It's supposed to be a bellwether, you know? And what that is supposed to mean and what that's supposed to look. She hates feeling like this because her entire life it has been about control and it has been about power, you know? 
in how to be the best at everything. So something like this, feelings and all of that, it's not something that she's comfortable with, you know? But little by little, that whole, you know, mask that she has on, that it has been very much put on her, is slowly breaking down because Abigail is not just a bellwether. The name carries on and is badass and is, is a, it's, you know, it means that they, they're brave women, that they are just amazing. You know, they have fought so many wars and they are loyal and they are great soldiers and even beyond that. But Abigail doesn't necessarily has to do and has to follow those footsteps. You know, not exactly the way that they did it before. Because she will do, a, like, a lot of good. But, um, she will do it her own way. And I love that. Because little by little, we know what the Bellwether are, who they are. You know? But we also get to know how different Abigail is from that, you know? That doesn't mean that she's less badass, that she's less loyal, that she's less great. No. It just means that she is her own woman, you know? And I am so happy that we're getting to see and getting to discover who she is. Because we know who the Bell... We are supposed to know who the Bellwether are. But thanks to Abigail and the journey that she's going through, we're going to see really what she makes... With what, what she makes out of her name. Um, and she was like, on this episode, I think it was badass. I think it's it takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of bravery to say, I feel powerless. You know? And then for her to be like, okay, shake it off, bro. And like, went away and like, she doesn't want to talk about her feelings. But I think it was a great first step. I love Abigail. I love Abigail. I love when she's all sassy and like you know I love that I love more so what is inside of her who she is as a person and how you know like I said slowly we're we're getting to see the bigger picture of who Abigail is and I'm loving it I'm loving it this, she is like one of the most interesting characters on this show next to Scylla and next to this whole mystery going around with Rael, Rael, that, you know, why Anacostia's protecting her? What, like, you know, um, so there's a lot, but like, uh, Abigail and her story is just so powerful and so well done that I'm like, if she wants to murder people, <laughs> I will be like, yes, Abigail, they deserve it, you know? I'm sorry, I am like, the minute I start liking a character, like, I will like literally forgive them for anything. Because I become very biased towards them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, we all do it. Like, if you have a favorite character, you sometimes are biased towards them. And honestly, so far, Abigail hasn't done anything bad. Okay. Uh, in the other hand, one of the, I wish I could, they could, uh, take a little bit more, like, put it a little bit more emphasis on her story. It's Tally. The, the, out of the three girls, her story is the one that is not as powerful as the other. Like, we know that Tally's badass. We know she has a story with her mom, the fact that her mom doesn't want her there, you know. And But in the previous two episodes, it, it, it was very much about um, her relationship with the guy that I don't remember his name. Um, not n any offense, like, I don't want to offend anyone, it's just, I sometimes I forget names. I'm very much like that. Um, it takes me a while to, like, know every single name. But the thing is, with, like, Tally, it has been very much focused on that, rather than, you know, I, I feel like she ta has taken a step back. And let the other two, like, their story be the one that, the, the ones that drive more the season. Hey, we can uh, totally spin this out and, like, in the next episode is going to be more more centered on, uh, on Tally. 
I will love it because I love Tally as well. Uh, but she's more of like in the background right now, you know. Although her, like the fact that she's the one who knew about Scylla and Tolana Costia could change a lot of shit. Because right now, Rael thinks that Scylla is dead. But we know that Tally knows that C Scylla is not dead. Or at least she was not dead when she told Anacostia. You know? So, I don't know. But it could be like, they swept, I mean, it could be possible. But I know that Tally knows that there's more p probabilities for Scylla to be alive than for Scylla to be dead. And she hasn't shared it yet with Rael. So we'll see how, when we, we'll, we will see when that bomb explodes. We'll see. Because I thought she was going to tell her when she was crying that she was going to say, no, actually, your girlfriend is alive. But she didn't. Then you have Rael, who is madly in love with Scylla. I understand it. I completely understand it. I love their chemistry. I know that I'm saying that I love Abigail and Rael together. I could ship it, but let's be real. Do you put two ladies on a screen? It's not going to take too long for me to ship them, you know? And I know I should just be happy with Scylla and Rael, but I like pain, you know? <laughs> and, um, since I like pain, I will like to torture myself with the fact that Abigail and Rael will never be a thing. But I will still enjoy the other storyline. Now, Rael touched the... Mush mushroom. Is that how you pronounce it? Mushroom. I don't know. She touched it. And it got like inside of her, you know? What does it mean? Because it didn't it it didn't mean anything later on. Is it that the um is it that the on the other side of that thing is the room where they're keeping Scylla? Probably not. But anyways, uh we don't know. Well, I'm sorry, uh, Rael, she thinks Scylla is dead because the lady told her, oh, no, she actually died. And I was like, how did she know that? We know that she knows because she knows that she's alive and that, you know, they are probably torturing her, you know, to, um, to get answers and that is what the the general said, you know, tell everyone that she's dead. Or at least tell Rael. Um, but we don't... Yeah. And I feel bad. I feel bad for Rael. I mean, for you to, like, see that your girlfriend, you know, is dead. Like, that you think that she's dead. That you couldn't do anything to save her. I mean, that is just so freaking sad. And, like, for them to make her believe that is just so disgusting. I felt for her. Like, the minute she took all the salva and, like, she put it on her neck, I was like, girl, you could have literally taken a ride there. But you want to make it like this. I'm going to guess it because she wanted to look in the coast if she was around somewhere, you know, and, like, doing it, like, on foot or on a car it will take her a long a lot more time. But she also could have done one salva, fly off another one. But no, she was you know, and that that was just I'm I'm gonna guess it is because she was depressed as well, you know, she was sad and she was like, nah, I'm gonna, you know, go all for it. Um but it made me feel terrible for her. But now we know the Scylla is in prison, actually, and that, uh, that she's been tortured, probably, you know, so she can confess on what she did, but she's sending her messages. And, like, why didn't she send, like, SOS on a single text on her hand, you know? But no, she only sent an S, because what does that S mean? We don't know. Uh, but yeah, also the, the girl who is, um, Abigail's bodyguard. Yes. Uh, very pretty. I love women. What is new here? Um, and badass. I love that. I love that so much. But I feel bad that she thinks that she deserves 
you know, to be punished because she couldn't save one of her uh, her sisters, you know. I mean, you know, one of uh, her friends, you know, probably, you know. And that made me feel really bad. Uh, but, oh, also, there's a little girl with a guy, you know, that is her brother. And this guy knows Adler for a long time, right? She wants to help the little girl who has this weird thing going on here. Um, but he's like, "We're not. I'm not going to give you my songs because you turned them into weapons. You know, uh, so meaning either they, he is from a bloodline that knows her from the the Salem trials uh, that she signed and all of this story that we know uh, as of now. Either we know that, you know, I went very high, I'm sorry. But like either he knows that, you know, that she is... Um, I, I mean, that he knows and they go against, or what was my other, tro- my other option? They know about her from the witch and like he is from way back when, or, you know, it was passed down, uh, you know, the, the story was passed down on generations, which is probably the latter, you know, probably, I don't know. But anyways, this episode was badass. Full of mysteries, answers as well, some of them, but a lot of character growth. And I like that. I like that. I'll take it. It was great. It was great. It was a great episode for for Abigail. A great episode for Rael as well. And for Tally, you know, I wish that we could see a little bit more. Uh, But Tally's amazing. I love her. But I just, I want to see more of her, you know, more character driven story lines with Tally. I think it will be great. Um, but yeah, for now, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue to support for more. Give it a thumbs up if you love if you love Motherland for Salem. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go right now to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version of this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. And if you're on Patreon, give it a heart. Continue supporting for more because I will be doing a lot more reactions. I mean, I'm going to finish season one very soon. So stay tuned for that. And for now, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Motherland for Salem. Bye, guys.